my nephew Aaron's bris. Sure, it appears we're all here to witness a ritual circumcision, but with my family, the truth is, anytime you put out a free egg salad, it always draws a crowd. Shalom Aleichem, Mishpacha, ladies and gentlemen. In a few minutes' time, we will proceed with the bris, the ceremony of circumcision. Your witnessing this makes this a bigger blessing. This is such a wonderful, wonderful ceremony. Isn't it lovely? I know, this is actually my first one. I've never been to a bris before. No. I think you were at yours. Yeah, okay, I don't remember that one. Oh, either do I. I wasn't there. You weren't there. No, I had a scheduling conflict. You weren't at my bris? I meant to be, Spenny. Honest to God, I meant to be. It's unbelievable. Spencer, over my shoulder. Oh my God, what is she doing? Did here? you work the force? She shouldn't she's, be here. So who's that bozo she's with? It's her fiance. Are you kidding me? She brought her fiance. She's just trying to get you down. Unbelievable. I'll tell you something. You be the bigger man. You rise above it. I can't rise above it. I want to punch her in the face. Continue. Thank you. Uh. And now, I will actually perform the circumcision. Zeh haketan Adonai Eloheinu Excuse me, fellas, it's my first breath. Just one after. Amelech Zeh! Jesus Christ! Meshugana! Who's the gut of the plumstick? Who's the gut of the plumstick? My name is Spenny. I've been accused of being an emotionally stunted man-child, incapable of having a functional relationship. All I really want is to find love. Is that such a crime? Hi, I'm Karen. And Hi, you're Karen. Spenny. Nice to meet you. And you have a cut. And I sure do. Okay. On my head. <laughs> I can see that. Ow, okay. ow. I'm not even touching well, it. Well, I know, but I'm anticipating. No, it's not that bad. You're not even going to need stitches. So, um, careful. So, how did this happen? The cut? Yeah. I was at a, uh, a bris, a circumcision, and I fainted. Circumcision. I think circumcision is the most unnatural, barbaric procedure you can perform on a child that doesn't even give its consent. <sighs> I feel exactly the same way. Really? Like, almost verbatim. What was it, barbaric? It's absolutely barbaric. Of course. Absolutely, right? Yeah. We're uh, thinking the same thing about something. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, do you think there's any possibility that we could maybe go out sometime? Really? Coffee, tea, maybe lunch. Maybe snack. Maybe a snack. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow? Okay, I'm off, yeah. Unbelievable. So I take it you're not... What? You know. Circumcised? I'm not circumcised. Of course not. Why would I be circumcised? I don't like circumcision. No, I'm not. Did I just lie about being circumcised so I could go on a date? Am I that shallow? I guess I am. She's gonna have to see my penis one day and I completely misrepresented it. I don't know what the big deal is. Like, how long is she actually gonna be looking at it? If I'm lucky, a long time. Why don't you just tell her after you fell, they gave you some drugs and you got confused? I can't say that. She was in the hospital. She's a nurse. She saw me come in. I had a little cut on my head. She's gonna know they don't give you drugs for that. Tell her you took drugs at the Briss. I'm not gonna tell her I took drugs at the Briss. She'll think I'm a drug addict. Why don't you tell her the truth then? Oh yeah? That I lied about my circumcision? No thanks. Okay, I know. Well, let, let's do a role play. Chelsea, no, 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 I don't no, want to do it. Chelsea, here, please. Come here, come here. Come here. So, so stupid. No, it is stupid, but it's fun. Okay, so I'll be Karen. What am I like? Tell me what I'm like. Well, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous, okay, got that. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. So she's empathetic and, and smart, and she can think on her feet. Okay, uh, what was she like as a child? I don't know what she was like as a child. How would I know that? I just met her. Okay. Hi, Spenny. I'm Karen. And I would love to see your penis. She's never gonna say that. She might say that. She's not gonna say that, Chelsea. Come on. I'm trying to prepare you for the fact that she might say that. So just go with me. Work with me. Um... Karen, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm really circumcised and I... I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. 
That was a really boring confession. It's the truth. No, I know it's the truth, but you could put a little, little, uh, a little whimper, a tear, something. It's like uh, when you have the hiccups really, really bad. You know, hiccups are like the key to faking emotion. You know, <sighs> Karen. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> I. <sighs> Come on. Karen, I'm so sorry that I lied about being circum uncircum. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I, I can't do this. I'm not Sean Penn. I don't know how to do that. Okay, fine. Well, then on to plan B. Look, I googled something before I came here, and look what I found. As nature intended, it's a clinic downtown. They can actually restore your foreskin. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. That's exactly what I want. Look, and there's even a video description of how they do it. The foreskin restoration process. Oh and my God. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to do that to my penis. Are you crazy? Okay, well, fine. If you're not serious about this, then let's get back to the hiccups. Forget the stupid hiccups. What am I going to do? <sighs> Mother, I met a girl. Oh, thank God. Does she have a good job? She's a nurse. Okay. Is she a main nurse or a... She helps people. Aw, oh, bless her little heart. So, uh, something you wanted to tell me? Absolutely. But first, I'd like to ask you something. Okay. Was I a good mother? No. <laughs> you know, being a parent, Spencer, isn't easy. Um, you have expectations. When you were a baby, I was, uh, was bored stiff. Bored stiff. You did nothing. You laid there some spittle once in a while. Look, <laughs> Honestly, like, what, what, what do you want to talk about? <clears throat> I need money for a boob job. You don't need a boob job. Yes, I do. You, no, you don't. You're ample. Ample as it gets, but I need up. I need a lift. How much is it? 15500 15000 15500 I need this for my self-esteem. I, I need this to feel like the old days. Have construction workers say lewd things. I, I miss that. I think it's time that I get a promotion. I'm the only employee, but I'm an invaluable employee. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a new, new. Can you just, can you just give us a minute? Sure. Okay. okay. I'll give it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. I'll make you VP of development. That's good. It's very good. Really good. Yeah. Now, about how much would a raise for a VP of development be? Jessica, if you were a real VP of development, you know not to bring that up right now. We're working. All right, ladies, can I have your attention? My name is Spenny. I'm a little pressed for time. I just want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing. Please. Yes, okay, please. this is a novelty gift that I've created. It's a calendar. So each month there's going to be different rock bands. You're one month, you're going to be Aerosmith. Do you know who Aerosmith is? No, I'm uh, really Miss, could you just uh, stop playing the drums? You're not making fun that's, of us. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm not making fun of anybody. This is about uh, uh, paying respects to a great rock band, playing this rock star. Please stop with the drums! I'm not having right. anything to you do with it. Really, just calm down. Uh, if, 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 if I could just say a couple of things. You have been chosen because of an energy that you bring to this shoot. And if it's Aerosmith, you ladies just exude that quality that Aerosmith has. Oh. And the grandkids will absolutely oh. love this calendar. Oh, lunch for him? Oh, yes, he's my nephew. Of course <laughs> I do. You're going to look fabulous. Thank you. No, thank you. Phil, that was incredible. You, you saved me. You saved it. You know, complimenting ladies, it's, it's what I do. I, I sell ladies' shoes. I had a kind of crazy idea. I just want to bounce it off you, if I may. Go for it. Okay. Uh, recently, uh, my mother's been not feeling so great about herself. Uh. Self-esteem issues. She's been getting some expensive ideas. And I was wondering if maybe you could use some of that charm and uh, just compliment my mom. Just give her that little boost that she might need. Well, I mean, I'd be happy to. Let's see, it would probably take a few minutes, I guess. And then uh, and then I'd have to head back to the shop. Right. So, you know, maybe... Oh, I, you want money. Well, now that you mentioned it, that would be great. Okay. That just a, 50 bucks? F well, maybe maybe a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? It's like three minutes, that's it. You, you, well, I still gotta close down the shop. Okay, a hundred dollars, that's fine. Great. Fantastic, well, I look forward to meeting her. Chelsea, it's a nightmare. When some people lie, their pupils dilate. With me, it's my colon. Forget the date. I'm not going. Well, that's ridiculous. 
You know what? If she's as wonderful as you say she is, she is not going to care. And, and also, she's probably against circumcision of babies. You're an adult. There is no way she can be that shallow. I know it's shallow. I just don't like the look of it. I mean, I look at a circumcised penis, and I'm just like, it just makes me gag. But that's not a problem for us, so it's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Come here. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. You don't... Mm. Oh, let's just let him. Oh, just hang on to... Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. It's my fault. It's my fault. I have to take it. I'm sorry. It's... it's... Jessica? I'd like to talk about that raise now if you have some time. That's terrible! No, it's terrible what you no. pay me, okay? It metastasized? Metastasized? Please, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna come over right away. You need to start making sense. Please, just calm down. Crazy. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. You okay? I've gotta go. Okay, well, I have uh, to go. I'm... I just have to go. First choice is surgical. We take skin from your anus and we graft it on the Skin from my anus? Not mine. I uh, would like to hear option number two. Option number two is non-surgical. It's based on the law of gravity. We take a weight. Place to Wait a sec. You're going to put that thing on my penis? Yes. Then we take the skin from around the shaft and we pull it down and clasp it just like this. And in four to six months, you have a new foreskin as whoa, nature whoa, whoa. intended. Four to six months? Oh no, that's, that's not good. This is an emergency. I need my foreskin as fast as possible. I do have something that will cut the time in half, but you have to be careful not to overdo it. Come, I'll show you. It's called the hop and the dip. Hop and the dip, yes. See, the weight is like this, attached, and you. Law of gravity takes over. Now, you try. I just put it here? Yes. And... How's that? It's pretty easy. But now... Ow! Come on, Spenny. Lower. You have to go way lower. Ah! That's it. What? I can't do it anymore. Mm -mm, no, you only did two. You have no idea how painful this is. Here's the problem. I'm not gonna have a foreskin for two months. How am I gonna stall her? Well, what have you already told her? I told her that Jessica has cancer and the cancer metastasized. It was the first thing that popped into my mind. Easy. Just tell Karen that Jessica's taken a turn for the worse. Okay. Okay, and and now she needs to go and see a special doctor. Good. Okay, good, and, and, and the doctor isn't here. The doctor isn't anywhere near here. The doctor's in, in China. The doctor's in China. Doctor's in China. I'm, I'm, I'm in a foreign land, supporting my friend who's in need. <laughs> Karen's gonna think I'm Mother Teresa. You're like Mother Teresa, killing two birds with one stone. And going to China, that's not a weekend trip, my friend. That's a two-monther. No dates for two months. Genius. <laughs> this is just something I've got to do. I think it's wonderful. It's a brilliant plan. All I need to do is buy some time. Like Rome, a foreskin isn't built in a day. Hey, Phil, it's Spenny. I'm about to meet my mom. Did you talk to her? I certainly did. It was great. Did she suspect anything? She didn't suspect a thing. Right, great. great. Okay, gotta go, I gotta go. Hi, sweetheart. Mother? How are you? Look at you. What? You look incredible. Do I? You're glowing. I am? I met someone. No. Yes. No. Yes. His name's Phil. Phil? And, uh, what did I tell you? I know you did. You were jumping the gun. I know. Thank you, sweetheart. He's great. He's so sweet and, oh, the sex, I can't tell you. The sex? Oh, my God. 
God, You had Spencer? sex with Phil? Oh, honey. She just was... met the man. I mean, I'm good for a few minutes, but he goes and goes and goes. Okay, okay, okay. So I faked it. You know what? It this, worked out fine. This is a mega overshare. Oh, come on. Plus, he's an astronaut. He's an astronaut. I'm not even kidding. Like in the, space. The kind that go to space. I told him all about you and your life and your career, and uh, he's got some advice. He's got some pointers. Phil, the okay. astronaut, has advice for me? He's achieved something. I think you could take a pointer or two from him. Well, at least you don't need the, uh, the boob lift anymore. Well, I'm going to need a lift, and I'm going to need the augmentation, because Phil, the astronaut, likes them big. So basically, I just paid a shoe salesman $100 to sleep with my mother. Unbelievable. Hello? Hey, Karen, it's Spenny. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm calling from China. Oh, my God. It sounds crazy. It hasn't been the same since the Olympics, but it, it's wonderful here. It's, it's, it's wonderful. How's Jessica? She's the same. It's, it's, not, it's not pleasant. Yangoya. Yeah. They're very, very passionate about their politics, yes. What time is it there? Um, um, my foreskin is stretching and the China plan is buying me time. It's a win-win. Rock and roll, baby. Lean into it. Lean in. You're Tommy Hamilton of Aerosmith. Oh, well, these guitars are heavy. Well, that's rock and roll, baby. Now, Mildred, think Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Jessica, cue the smoke. Okay, just hold it one second. This looks fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. How was space? Oh, <laughs> she told you that? Yeah, you're an astronaut. Yeah, well, you know, I, yeah, it, it holds a little more clout than a shoe salesman. What were you thinking? We're talking about my mother here. Absolutely, and you asked me to compliment her. And... I asked you to compliment her, not talk your way into her bedroom. Well, actually, we were mostly in the uh, living room and kitchen. You son of a bitch! Oh. Yeah. The good news is that I'm about a half inch away from being an uncircumcised man. The bad news is that since I made Jessica the VP of development, I have to hear her stupid novelty ideas. Just new shoes, don't worry about it. So what's up, Jessica? Okay, well, we're almost done your calendar, so I got some great ideas for our next project that I'd like Jess. to I've got some good ones. Sweetie, don't take it the wrong way. You're you're not ready. <laughs> Look, it's 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 novelty gifts. It takes years. The next thing we're gonna do is, you know, my idea. Spenny? What are you doing here? Karen. Uh, do you know what would be nice? Is if maybe somebody introduced me. I'm sorry, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Spencer's assistant. Jessica! How are you? She's great. She's great. Are you okay? Yes. Good. I hear they're doing great things in China right now. Oh. Yeah, you know, Chinese food, uh, knockoffs. No, the clinic that you went to in China with Spenny? I never went to China. You didn't? <laughs> Spenny, what's going on? I was busted, and the only thing that came to my mind was Chelsea's lame hiccup advice. <laughs> Just... So, hiccup, hiccup. I've just been trying to, I don't know how I can, hiccup, hiccup. I still can't believe the hiccups worked. Unbelievable. I told you it works every time. And look, now you have a date on Friday. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. I've got a date on Friday. I need a foreskin by then. Like, this thing's good, but it's just not going to cut it. Wait, 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 wait. You said it's about gravity, right? Yeah. I got it. What? What? Mm-hmm.
Oh, my God. I told you not to overdo it. How bad is it? It looks like an anteater. What am I going to do? You have to be recircumcised. Oh, my God. So, my foreskin has become a five skin. Now I'm sporting something that looks like it could blow insulation into attics. I'm against circumcision, and now I've been circumcised twice. I wonder if Guinness has a record for this. Aaron. Spenny, what are you doing here? Somehow, in my drug-induced state, I told her everything. How Jessica didn't have cancer, how I lied about going to China, and how I was circumcised from the very beginning. Oh! Oh, Spencer. It's not your best day, is it, dear? Well, don't you worry. You're gonna meet somebody. Sure you are. Possibly. I don't know. I mean, there's no guarantees in life, right? Pardon me. Sorry. Excuse me. Mm-hmm.